When I was small, I could play the piano. I took lessons and I could play. But I could only play because I played by numbers. The thumb was one and the pinky was five. And I didn't read the notes, I read the numbers. When I first started learning Mandarin, my freshman year of college, 25 years ago, I was frightened that I would never succeed. When I thought about learning the language of music and faced learning Chinese, I feared that my speaking and hearing and understanding was just an illusion. And that I was somehow only reading the numbers. But language was just the beginning. I think of the years it took for me to become remotely comfortable at a Chinese banquet and the additional years that it took for the banquets to be something I genuinely enjoyed. I think about how, as a student on the streets of Beijing, I used to only ride my bicycle because I was too shy to walk on the street and be stared at by people. Each path I tread was hailed with calls of Lao Wai, Lao Wai, Lao Wai. I know now, for the first time, as you journey away from all you know, that you might have to really think about what it means to you to be Chinese. Just like I had to think about what it meant to be a foreigner all those many years ago when first arriving here. I also know that you may be faced with explaining what it means to be Chinese, which may at times feel offensive or ridiculous. When I think about the pioneers that came before you, the Chinese students who went abroad, with no one familiar to support them, to dine with them, to laugh at comfortable jokes with them, it gives me some solace that you may not be as lonely as they might have been. When I am homesick, I think about things bigger than myself. I think about why I chose to live in Shanghai with education as my profession, even though it separates me with immense physical and intellectual distance from many of those I love. The reason I am here and will be here is because I believe that you all can make a difference in this world. I believe that you have the tenacity, creativity, intelligence, and heart to shape the direction of the world, I hope, for the better. At the least, I am contributing to your worldview and hope that perhaps answering questions about yourselves abroad will be easier due to having teachers now from cultures different to your own. Today is a day like any other at Chiba Black. Exams ahead, field regaining fertility, and sleep past due. But today, class of 2019, you sit with us all together for the last time. Look around. This is our community, and it is small when compared with what lies ahead. It will rain in Shanghai today, and you are leaving us. We will see you again. Thank you.